So in the last movie, we made some changes to an existing YouTube 4K preset. We really upped the target bit rates to a much higher quality at the expense of a longer render time and upload time just to support a high quality 360 VR video export. We also enabled this video to be VR video just over here at the bottom. You can see that check mark to make sure that the appropriate metadata was on our actual sequence. Now I wanna to go to the publishing settings and we wanna use this little scroll bar to move down. And we wanna make sure that we're gonna upload this to YouTube. And I've already taken the time to log into my YouTube account. So this is something that you should note, but I'm logged into my YouTube account. And right now, because this video, you know, this content is not our own, I'm gonna set this to private. And if you're following along, just keep in mind, you don't wanna claim this as your own. This footage was lent to us, but don't start sharing this publicly with everyone on YouTube, as in that is not the license we have for this footage. But I'm setting it to private just to demonstrate this to you. I'm gonna do a, a tag here just so that we can note called travel montage. And last but not least, I'm just gonna add a description. My travel video. Okay, so that's all set. You know, it's going to YouTube, it's under a private account, so no one can see it unless the people I give links to. I wanna make sure that I save this as a preset for later on. So for similar sequences that I might have to send out, I never wanna have to go back and customize that setting again. So I'm gonna save a preset of it. If I click up here to save a preset, you can see I'm making a copy of the existing 4K YouTube preset. I wanna make sure to include publish settings. And I'm gonna call this, instead of copy of YouTube, but I'm gonna call it YouTube 4K 360 so that I know. And if I wanted to, I can include the bit rate. So that was 80 megabits per second was my target. So I think that's a much better preset name. I'll press okay. And I'll press okay in the export settings dialog box to get back into Media Encoder to set this up to export. Now that we've set up our preset, and by the way, you can find it here, the YouTube 4K 360 80 right? It's available for you for later on. We now just have to decide where to output this onto our system. So if you click here, I'm just going to go into my desktop where I have my metal projects and exercise files. I created a folder here for you guys called 360 video upload. So you can just double click that to open it. You can save it to that location. And when we're ready, what's going to happen is media encoder is going to take over. Once I press play, this little green play button, watch Media encoder, go for it. It's going to start to encode the video first, and then it's going to upload it to YouTube. And when this is done, we'll see check marks next to both of them. So I will see you guys back here in a little while in the next movie.